Hey guys, here we are to make liquid IMO. So you've watched some of the videos on how to make IMO 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, and maybe even 5 if you caught that one. Well, here, especially if you have a big farm, is an important, and small farms too, don't get me wrong, is an important aspect of natural farming. Liquefying or m breeding your biology or multiplying your biology in water. Um, super simple. So let's get to it. You want non-chlorinated water. Um, it's important. Um, pick your amount of water, it doesn't matter, but all your inputs are based on your amount of water. So I prepared a couple sheets for you. Um, here's one with um, all the ingredients we'll use today. Um, and uh, this is what we're going to make, a liquid IMO, or also known as SOS, or soil treatment solution. Um, that's a super simple version. If you want a more um, complicated version, let's talk about this one. This is some of the same ingredients, but you can add some of these optional things here at the bottom. You can add a little brown sugar. It does kind of help jump start I've found some of the biology. WCA or WCAP can be added based on on a grow cycle. Um, there's videos on how to make that. LAB can be added especially if you're doing leafy greens and stuff like that. Um, a liquid fertilizer can be added after you finish brewing. That's why I have it here in green and so when you spray out you can spray this biology plus a uh, afterthought or uh, added later liquid um, fertilizer like fish amino acid. So these are some sheets. Um, hopefully I'll make these available to you um, also in your uh, in some of the um, options in the DVD or however you got this video. Um, but there it is. Sheets for making this. Alright so we're gonna start out with our water and our nutrients. So here we have our FPJ in approximately five gallons of water. We have about 1.2 ounces of FPJ. One point two ounces of BRV, brown rice vinegar. The vinegar helps buffer the pH down to the area that microbes like to thrive in, which is around six or six point five, depending on uh, microbes. Um, humic acid, um, depending on your source, you can add uh, one to five hundred, or if you're using vermihumic acid, you want to add one to two fifty more. My OHN, we're going to add about uh, 0.3 ounces, about a third of an ounce. Seawater is about 21 ounces. I have ounces on the side here that I'm going to go by. All right. If you want to add a little extra seawater, you can. All right, so now I have my inputs. Um, one of the options is a little brown sugar. Um, here I'd add uh, a few ounces of brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and add that to this batch because they're going to spray it here at the farm. And uh, I like the, the little bit of um, activity boost. It doesn't really help so much your, your big fungus, but it does help some of the uh, biology get started right away. All right, next I have a five gallon paint strainer. I, you, where I live, you can get these for a dollar or so. So I use this, but if you have some old cloth or 
um, cheesecloth or something you know porous that you can put some biology, uh, some solid biology in. Get whatever works for you. I use a paint strainer because that's what's readily available. Here's some IMO4. Um, super simple. Drop it in your sack. You can do it over so you get all the uh, powder, but we're going to just add plenty. So Now, say you don't have IMO4, all you have is IMO2. You can make this with IMO2. You take it, stir it in, and you just don't even bother with the sack. If you have IMO3, you can make it with IMO3. Um, I don't recommend making it with IMO5 or something with nitrogen. Um, if you don't understand anything I just said, then you should have watched some of the other videos. But here we have our inoculum, our IMO4. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our air stones. So I have a, a, a 20 volt um, aeration thing. You can check out the bottom there if you want to see exactly what I'm using. 20 amp, I think. Anyways, just a, a, a little aerator. Um, depending on what size you're making is how much air you need forced. But um, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. I'm not going to totally explain that in this video. So what I want to do is I want to stick my air stone to the bottom of my bag so that there's no pocket in the center of this biology that's going anaerobic. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this. You can tie it with a string too if you, if you don't have zip ties, no problem. I'm going to zip tie my tube in there. Now I don't want to do it so tight that it's kinking it, but I do want to keep it in place so it stays at the bottom. I'm going to drop this into my container. I should have done this first. I'm going to send um, a zip tie through there and attach it to the side of the bucket. And this is to keep it kind of suspended over the side. I'm going to drop my second air stone. I want at least two um, weighted. I just use some uh, nuts and some zip ties to the bottom of the bucket. And now I know I have tons of aeration inside my tank, uh, my bucket, tons of aeration at the center of my biology. This is going to get all wet. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my aerator and let this brew for 36 hours. And um, everything goes crazy in here. Um, my fungal spores wake up in the presence of all these good micro minerals minor minerals and um, humic acid and this all comes to a, a sweet uh, nice smell 36 hours is what I found to be the sweet spot here in Hawaii if you're in a colder environment you might need 48 hours or even a little more if you're in a super hot environment it might go a little faster but not too much probably 36 hours is um, looking at it in a microscope I found kind of the peak of activity so Give it a try. Um, after 36 hours, you can spray this fuller, foliarly. You can spray it on the ground as a ground application. Um, we're going to use this um, in a video. You can watch separately how to apply IMO4. We're going to use this um, as a pre-treatment to the soil, then apply IMO4 and mulch, and uh, then you can treat afterwards. So this is kind of a soil preparation solution or soil treatment solution. Uh, also known as SOS, but I've added um, humic acid be because of my uh, research with the microscope, found that really helps. So um, if you don't have all these ingredients, still go ahead and make it. Um, if you have seawater and biology, you can make it. Uh, we'll talk about some of the other ways you can make liquid um, biology in some future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.